Welcome back, people, to iOS 12. Now then, I'm sure a lot of you are aware fully that I use an iPad almost every day for almost everything. So, I thought... No, oh, that's interesting. Just put my stocks up there. Anyway, I thought it would be interesting if we uh, took a look around because everything's changed a little bit in terms of voiceover and how you navigate and just for regular people as well. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to open an app here. I'm going to open pages. I will mention, by the way, that the stuff I'm going to talk about today is actually available. Apple makes it clear to you in a tutorial. If you have voiceover turned on when you go through the iOS 12 setup, either that or you uh, already had it turned on before you update, you'll get a tutorial on how to do this with voiceover, but I thought I might as well show you anyway. So we're in the pages app and it's telling us about all its new features because I haven't opened it in ages. And let's say, well, the first easiest thing to do is to do notification center and control center. So let's do control center first. If you put your finger at the top of the screen and drag down, you should hear this. That's me going up and down. So you'll notice, I'll turn it up a bit here so you can definitely hear it. If I stop on the first click, nothing happens because that's just telling you that you've clicked in the right place. If I do the second one, control center. I get control center and control center looks different now. It's just a little thing that drops down from the top right hand corner on an iPad. And yeah, it, um, it's not part of the app switcher anymore. Now you may be thinking, how do you get out of here? Well, obviously you can do the typical, yeah, three finger scrub thing that you normally do, but let's open that again. If the actual way to get out of it, you can obviously press the home button, but home buttons are getting phased out and that's not fun. So put your finger at the bottom of the screen and drag up until you hear the second click Oops, and get it right. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. And it will go at home. And if you do that while you're on an actual screen, you'll get your home screen. And if you do it until the third click, because there's three in here as well. Numbers. Pages. Double numbers. Page two or three. Doc. Page two or three. It's going to take some getting used to. App switcher. You get to your app switcher. Active. Swipe up with three. Utilities. Now then, what if you do three from the top? Well... You get notification center, and you will notice, by the way, that this is another feature of iOS 12. Everything's grouped screen together, um, screen including screen recording and things. So if we go home, YouTube. that's that. Now you may be thinking, okay, Pages. let's go into numbers, numbers for example. Num num let's say we want to snap something. Oh, oh something's already Heading. snapped. Numbers. Hang on, Heading. let me get rid of calendar. Expand numbers. There we go. Numbers. No, there we go. Let's say, and I only just figured this out, because it I doesn't actually tell you this in the tutorial, but let's say you want to get the dock up at the bottom like you used to on iOS 11. Well, you don't have to do that stupid two-finger swipe numbers, up numbers. that never works. But what you can do is do this. Browse. Tab. Two or two. There we go. Dock. Numbers. So you have to... um. Dock. Basically, numbers. what you have to do numbers. is... Pages. You have to... Numbers. And this is hard to explain... But you drag up until you hear the third click, and then you drag all the way down off the screen. And something doesn't work. There we go. You have to kind of go a little bit slowly at the end. But you'll get your dock back up and you can... Oh, there we go. Pin calendar to the right. Works the same way. What you can also do, and you could do this in iOS 11, but it works a bit differently. If you go to your app switcher... Numbers, calendar, active, numbers, calendar, active. And let's close, numbers, calendar, close these numbers, because pages, otherwise calendar. it's not going to work. Okay. YouTube, let's calendar. say I want to snap calendar on top of YouTube. Doc, so we take calendar. our calendar Monday, app and we drag it on Double, top Doc. of YouTube. And we wait for it to load. And then we can put it wherever we want. Let's go on the left. No, it doesn't put it on the left anyway because it's a side app. But what you can do now is... Calendar, search, button, calendar controller, move calendar to the left, pin calendar to screen. Oh, move here calendar. we go. Move calendar to the left. Cool. Calendar control. Pin calendar. Dismiss. Activate. D dismiss. Pin calendar to screen. Move calendar to the right. Activate. Dismiss yeah, calendar. I'm just uh, looking at the actions on this calendar controller. What you can also do. Activate. Move calendar. To pin calendar. To screen. Obviously, if you press pin calendar at the screen, it'll give you the thing. But you can also just. Oops. Make sure you do it right. You can also just drag this down, and it will do it for you. And then the split do divider works the same way as it did before. You can go on it, click actions, and now you're in split view. And I can go home. That is actually really fast. I, I, I like that. I don't have to press the home button. Obviously, double click, 
Still works. Triple click. Obviously still, still works. There's no other gesture for that. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. It took a bit of fiddling around to do and it's kind of hard to explain because you can't see my finger. So there's that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Dislike the video if you didn't. I want to know why. Leave it in the comments. You can comment anyway. Subscribe if you're new around here and you want to see this stuff pretty often on your homepage. And I'll see you next time. Peace.